Hello, welcome to Smokebox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and this is whiskey review number 43. It's also the third and final part of the affordable slash entry level slash whatever you want to call it blended scotch whiskey mini series type thing. Now we've looked at the Grant's Family Reserve. Last review we looked at Teachers Highland Cream. Oh, there you go. And today we're looking at this and that is the White Mackay 13. Um, I'll be honest, the reason I've gone for the 13 is because it's a step up from the, um, the standard uh, White Mackay Special, which is the black label, um, and um, also I don't have that in anyway, so uh, you know, there's that. Right, without further ado, White Mackay 13. Ooh, I'm a bit stubborn. Uh, as the name suggests, it's 13 years old. It's bottled at 40%. Being known by White Mackay, it's chock full of caramel colouring. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's a strange one because where you find a lot of bottlers, blenders, distilleries, etc., bottle their whiskies at say 12 years old, 10 years old, uh, White Mackay have done something a little bit different and gone for the 13 year old. And the way it's done is they basically uh, mature the spirit and marry the spirit together. Um, the whiskey is 12 years old and then what they do is they put it together and then whack it into uh, to casks to mature for another year and marry for another year. And that's when, it bot that's when it's bottled so it's 13 years old. Now I'm not too sure on the malt proportion, the malt content. I don't think it's as high as the teachers. Um, White Mackay owned distilleries include Dalmore, so uh, there may well be some of that in here. Interesting presentation, you know, I mean, the box is quite fetching. It is certainly a step up from the standard uh, special, which is you can normally get in like a litre bottle in the shop. Screw top, no cork, akin to the others. Colour, lies. So uh, once again, Andy's ridiculous colour note. Mm, what can we say? Royal Mint Pennies on the nose. Initially, a really nice, soft orange marmalade note in there. There's also a little bit of menthol, too. A tiny little bit of drinking chocolate. The grain elements coming through a little bit now, but not too much. I think the malt is actually doing a very good job of keeping the more stringent grain notes at bay. A little herbal quality, Earl Grey tea. And again, that chocolate and orange, or you know, it's that time of year, maybe a Terry's chocolate orange. So, a relatively good start. Decent uh, legs on the glass. 13, you can find in supermarkets. Uh, rough guidance for pricing, 18 to 20 quid, 18 to 22 quid maybe. Um, I have seen it recently in Asda, supermarket Asda uh, for £17 so you can get it cheaper uh, and as I say it does provide a step up from the standard uh, white Mackay blend. Now on the palette, let's see what it's got, I'm just going to go back to the nose for a sec. Yeah not, not a right lot, there was just to the tail of it just as I was pulling my nose out I got a little bit of super glue which wasn't very good. Texture is okay, um, a little bit thin. Initial notes: of chocolate again, mint, spearmint. Getting that marmalade again, cake mix, 
finish is incredibly short. Really short. <laughs> it's very sweet. Um, Werther's original toffees, boiled fruity sweet kind of things. Getting a little bit of honey on the nose now, just going back. A little bit of ginger. Maybe when I said herbs on the nose, I'm getting a tiny little bit of rosemary on the palate, which is, I know sounds a bit disjointed, and it is a little bit disjointed to be fair. Um, Nesquik, Nesquik chocolate powder. As I say, finish is nigh on non-existent, very short, a little bit of bitterness in that chocolate again. Um, I think overall it's, it's actually quite a, a good um, little blend, it's it's um, it's good to see an age statement on it, particularly one sort of above your single digits, particularly at that price point, you won't find that very often in the market nowadays, particularly on brand, if you know what I mean, apart from supermarket blends. Aldi and Lidl are producing some really, really good little uh, blended whiskies under their own names at the moment. Hopefully, I will be reviewing some of those in the future. Um, but um, as I say, on brand, um, it's, it's quite good to see. Pricing, I think, is very reasonable. It's clearly very well put together, and I think there are some decent quality malts in there. I mean, apart from Dalmo, you've also got Fetcairn. Uh, Fetcairn's entire being, entire reason for, for living, is pretty much to supply uh, malt for White Mackay's blends. Uh, you can find some Fetcairn official bottlings and um, single casks and in indie bottlings and various things, but for the most part, it goes into this stuff. So, um, yeah, I think they've done a good job. In terms of score, so, well, I say a good job, you know, caramel colouring and non -ch you know, chill filtration and low strength isn't great, but, you know, such is life. Uh, score, I'm going to give this 80 out of 100. So, um, it's one point more than the teachers. I think it's um, a little bit smoother than the teachers. I think it's got a little bit more character to it. Um, I think it's in a lot more harmony with itself as well, which I think, I think is quite good. What, what I said about the teachers being a good midweek sipping whiskey, I think this probably trumps that slightly. I can really, I know in fact I do come home to do this on sort of like a rainy Wednesday night when you've been, been at work all day and you just think, geez, what a day. I just really need a little dram to pick me up. It's really good, it's very unassuming, um, very straightforward, does the job nicely. Thanks for watching. See you soon.